we just are doing a tour of London today. We just toured St. Paul's, which is where Princess Di got married. Um, but we weren't allowed phones or cameras in there, so I don't have anything for you. Um, so I'll take you along on whatever I can the rest of the day because I don't know how strict they're going to be about everything and whatnot. So I got a little hungry, so I'm eating a bag of chips. And now we're going to go find our tour guide where we're supposed to meet him. And I'll show you the rest of the day. Now we have like a boat cruise. Um, I know we're going to the London Eye and like a few other things. So take you along with me. Because I said I'd show you where Prince Charles lived. <laughs> And if you look across the wall there, you can see where the bricks of St. James's Palace end. And to the left, the higher, lighter building is Clarence House. And Clarence House with the flagpole on the top. You can see the crown maybe on top of the flagpole there. That's Prince Charles's official residence, Clarence House. And uh, he has been in residence there. He's lived there since um, after his granny died. Um, Charles' grandma died in 2000. are girls and two are boys so we odds on it's one of the girls um, you'll see them out and about as well they're not always in their cages there's the others are out and about so listen for the noise that they make they make a very distinctive noise and just remember they'll fly but they won't fly away because their flight feathers are clipped on one side nice hey friends we are at the Tower of London behind me it was built in like a thousand something and we are about to enter the the crown jewel section, which is where all like Kate Middleton and Megan and all of them took out their tiaras, but there's no cameras and stuff in there, so I won't get to show it to you, but I just thought I'd check with you. And I interrupt this video to show you the guard switching because or walking or patrolling. patrolling, whatever it is they do. We don't know. I apologize to any of my British followers that I am ignorant in this, but figured I'd show you really fast while I could. Oh. They're tired of standing there. They had to walk. Hey guys, we just got out of the, <laughs> the tool room and mom and I were talking about how we're a little underwhelmed because they it said it's gorgeous. like, it was gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but they said it's like all the queen's jewels and stuff and we're expecting to see like bracelets and elaborate necklaces and rings and all the tiaras that like 
Megan and Kate and Diana and like everyone gets to choose from. And there was like none of that. And one of the employees that worked here totally busted us and was like, I haven't heard of that. <laughs> Never heard of anyone who's been disappointed in that room. Um, anyways, really quickly, we're going to walk by it right here. You can see this right here. This Off is, with their hands. Yeah, this is the execution site where like Anne Boleyn and stuff was executed right behind us. Um, so they just have a little memorial here. Three queens were, ex was execu were executed here. Um, two by Henry and Boleyn was one of them and I don't remember who the third one was, so. <sighs> Sorry about that, but. Um, I think we're gonna go into where they held the prisoners now because we have a bit of time before we get to meet our tour guide, but it is pretty here. And um, I would recommend it, but just know that you don't get to see like actually all the jewels. So, yeah. <laughs> You can see the gorgeous castle grounds behind me as well, but I just can't stop laughing at that. But it was gorgeous. I'm not saying it wasn't. So I hope you guys understand what I mean. Oh. Here's where the prisoners like graffiti the walls put their names in. It's pretty cool. Some of them are pretty well done, to be honest. You guys, look at this one. How intricate is that? Like prisoners carved these in the wall. Good morning friends um, from London. I'm not sure where I ended the vlog last night. So yesterday we did an eight hour and 30 minute tour. We started by going to St. Paul's, which I remember I told you I couldn't take video or photos in there. <laughs> and then, um, geez, I'm drawing a blank of what we went to next. Oh, we went to the changing of the guard, which I know I showed you the video of that. And then we went back over and went to the Tower of London. And that was super cool. And then we took this riverboat cruise, which I don't know if I took any video, but I know I took some photos. So you guys will be seeing that. Um, I'll be like putting it on the screen now and that was just okay I could have done without the riverboat tour because you couldn't get any really good photos because the windows were so dirty and we kind of already seen everything we saw from the boat from driving around the city um I apologize I don't know if I told you guys but I hit this eye the other night and it's kind of been bugging me ever since and now this morning I'm dressed and ready to go mom isn't feeling great she's getting sick and I think I'm getting it because I keep I have a little tickle in my throat um, but today I am wearing my <laughs> Spice Girl shirt because I had to bring it. Um, I got this at Nordstrom's like years ago and I love it and it, because I'm in London and like the Spice Girls and stuff, I just, I had to bring it. Today we are going to Westminster Abbey and then I know we're going to see Waitress the play tonight and I don't know what our other plans are going to be since mom's not feeling the greatest. Um, we were going to try to go to the front of the Cursed Child play. Um, excuse me. So I'm not sure, but I'll take you along with me regardless. So yeah, just good morning from London. We only have a couple days left and then I get to go home and see Lucy who you guys, I'm missing my dog so, so, so much. I can't even begin to tell you. <sighs> I miss my dog. And I also still haven't figured out where to look. So I hope I'm looking directly at you and not at myself. Cause I know some of the clips I've been looking at myself in the camera. See, there's me looking at myself. And I hope I'm looking at you now. Still trying to figure that out. So anyways, off to start the day. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll take you along with me. Courtyard in Westminster Abbey. They wouldn't let me take any videos inside. So um, this is the best I can do. Just thought I'd show you because it is so pretty. Here we are outside the church. So pretty. And then just to be sneaky, here's a little bit of the inside that I'm not allowed to photograph that you can see through the glass. <laughs> but it's so pretty here, you guys. Look at this place. Hey guys, just checking in. We are back at the hotel room to relax for a little bit. We are exhausted. My mom, again, is not feeling well and now I think I'm starting to catch it. Um, so we went to Westminster Abbey, which I showed you some of the clips from that. And then we went to London Inc. I'll post photos, of course, which I have now been to all the tattoo shops that were shows on TV. So LA Inc., Miami Inc., New York Inc., and London Inc., which is very exciting. It's kind of a nerdy thing, but I love it. And then I got to go see the front of the original Harry Potter Cursed Child play, 
which is so much cooler than the one in New York. We're not going to go see the play because we did get to see it in New York with the original cast. Then after that, we went and found some Mexican food, which s fulfilled our cravings. a little different than the stuff we get at home, but it was still very good. Um, and then we got a cab and came back to the hotel, stopped by the pharmacy to get some cough drops really fast, and then stopped at a like tour seat place and got a postcard to send to somebody. And I got a magnet because I got a magnet, a magnet at every place that we, every country we have stopped at. So that's kind of what's up. We're going to probably just take it easy until we go to the play. We're going to go see waitresses tonight. And sorry, I haven't been vlogging much of the city. So many of the places here, when you go inside, they say no cameras, no like videoing. So I kind of can't. It's very, it's very challenging and a lot more challenging than I thought it'd be. But we're having a good time. It's kind of nice to have a day of being less packed than everything else because being a tourist gets exhausting, honestly. But it is all worth it. And. Today, we also went and took photos of me in a phone booth because, of course, I had to call the Ministry of Magic 62442, in case you didn't know. Um, that's the code to call the Ministry of Magic from a phone booth. So, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and fill out this postcard so I can give it to the front desk to get it mailed and just relax with my mom for a bit. Hey friends, we just sat down at the waitress and I got my pie. They don't do playbills here, so I bought a program. Happy Sunday. Today is our second to last day, full day in Europe. We are going to Abbey Road to take the cliche picture of the Beatles walking across the street because like you have to, right? And then we're going to Harrods, which is the biggest apartment store in all of Europe. Last night we went and saw waitresses and it was amazing. Honestly, um, plays I've seen recently are Anastasia, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Wicked, and now waitresses and I have to say Harry Potter still number one but out of the rest I have to say waitresses was my favorite so I really enjoyed it and I did get a little pie jar that I might or might not take home but the pie in this was like some chocolate salted caramel one bomb like this is one of the best pies I've ever had in my life I'm not even exaggerating so anywho that is what's up for today um I'm I haven't talked about it, but I should unzip this and tell you what's on my lips because I'll probably get quite a few questions because people love lip colors. I have the Milk Makeup Lipstick in Cream, CR, C period, R period, E period, A period, M period, and then this Fenty Gloss. This is what I've been wearing most of the time I've been here in Fussy, so... That's what's up for the day. Take you guys along with me. Hope you have a good Sunday. And I don't know when this is going up. So, good day. Whatevs. Talk to you later. Hey, friends. We're at Harrods. We are sitting on a Fendi couch. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, who knew they made couches? And I just got, I'll have to pop the name on the screen because I don't remember where it's from. A new ring in my ear. And they installed it. Um, I've had the same one in my ear for 11 years. Apparently we're going this way now. This place is like a freaking maze. Um, oh wow, it's very pretty. Um, but yeah, so I got it a little more expensive than I thought it was because I forgot to convert from Euros to US, but it's done and it's paid for and I do love it. And I do think it was a good choice. I was originally going to get this Fendi Rock Stud, or excuse me, Valentino Rock Stud bracelet. Um, you can get those anywhere. And I've never seen a company who sells like designer um, jewelry for like cartilage piercings. So anyways, now we're following the orange line to go to this tax free station to get a tax refund on it. Cause that's something that you do here. Just stop checking with you guys. And we did go to Abbey Road, so I'll insert a photo. And we also got to see the place the Beatles played their last concert. So, pretty, pretty fun. Hey, fr <laughs> hey friends, we just got done at Lululemon because I can't resist Lululemon anywhere, even in the States. There's a really famous Hamley's Toy Store across the street, and um, I 
did some damage at Lulu as always because I swear I can never walk into that store without buying something so I did it to myself <laughs> and there's an H&M home store here which have you guys even heard of that I didn't even know that they made anything more than clothes so anyways we don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day we're talking about maybe going to see a movie I'm gonna try to not get run over by people as I'm talking to you guys um, yeah I, so anyways, we were talking about possibly going to see a movie or something because we have nothing really to do the rest of the day. And so that might be what we do. Crossing the streets here is weird because they drive on the opposite side of the road. So normally at home we look right first here. You have to remember to look left first, which is an experience. So yeah, just thought I'd check in. I'll show you guys what I got maybe a little later if I remember. I'm really bad at that. So yeah, that's it.